Hey everyone, Hunter here. And Andrew. And today, Dahlia is having us teach you about type matchups. While it may seem like a rudimentary part of the game for some, it's important not to ignore. So let's go right in. First off, we'll start by explaining what it all means. If a type is super effective against another type, the defending Pokémon will receive twice the amount of damage instead of the regular amount. If a Pokémon is using a move that is not very effective against an opponent's Pokémon, it will only take half the damage. There are rare cases when there are double weaknesses, double resistances, and even cases where a move won't affect a certain type of Pokémon at all, but we'll get into that later. There are 18 types in Pokémon, well, 18 and a half, but we won't get to the question mark type just yet either. We'll be jumping in starting with the simplest, normal type. Normal type Pokémon aren't super effective against any Pokémon can hit any type for regular damage, except Rock and Steel, who are resistant to normal type moves, and will only receive half the damage it usually would. To remember this, try to imagine using your fist to normally punch a rock or a plate of steel. It won't do too much. Ghost types have an immunity to normal, so normal won't hit ghosts at all, as their attacks will go right through their non-physical bodies. Normal types are only weak to fighting types, as seasoned trained martial artists might make quite some work on a normal person. Normal does not have anything that's not very effective to it, but gains complete immunity to ghost type moves. Fighting types are super effective against normal types. They are also good against dark types because the fighter will always triumph over the darkness, or something like that. They are super effective against rock and ice as they have the strength to shatter them. They are also strong against steel as they can make quite a dent in the metal bodies. They aren't very effective against flying types as it's pretty difficult to reach. They are also not very effective against poison types, fighters love their steroids. They also aren't very effective against bug types, try hitting a flying fly with your fist. Let us know! No seriously, post in the comments. They aren't very effective against Psychic either, as the mind is stronger than the body and has the mental prowess to come over. Fighting won't do anything to ghost types for similar reasons to normal. Flying Pokémon are super effective against fighting as they have the upper hand, literally flying it all. Psychic types are super effective against fighting because the mind is stronger than the body. Fairies are super effective against fighting because fairies are some sort of magic shit and this is a physical fighter. Rock and Bug aren't very effective against fighting, as they can shatter any rock that is thrown at them. And Bugs beware of fighters, as they are well versed in using weapons, such as Flash Waters. Dark won't do too much to fighting types, as the Dark simply can't win against the good fighters. I am the light in the darkness! Ally to good! Nightmare to you! Grass is super effective against ground types, because that's where grass grows. Moss covers rock, so grass is super effective against rock. Moss is sort of grass, right? Grass is super effective against water because plants absorb water. Grass is not very effective on flying because grass grows on the ground. No, seriously, give me a better reason. No, seriously, post in the comments. Grass won't hit poison too well because acid will burn the leaves. Bugs live in grass, so grass won't be hitting bugs too well. Grass won't hit steel type because steel pretty much counters everything. Grass will get singed by fire and won't do much at all to its own type. Grass also won't hit dragons too well because the arcane elements are no match for dragons in lore. Grass will take twice the damage from flying for similar reasons to fighting, and fire because fire burns plants. Grass is also weak to ice because plants don't grow in the freezing cold. Grass is weak to poison because plants need water, not acid, to grow. Bugs eat plants, so grass is weak to bug. Go away, Venus flytrap! Oh, me! Plants are resistant to ground types and other grass types for the same reason as mentioned before, and will resist water because water feeds grass. When electricity hits a tree, it grounds electricity, so grass is resistant to electric. Fire is super effective against bugs since it burns bugs. It is also super effective against steel and ice because they melt. It can burn grass, so double damage to grass. Fire won't do much to rock or ground because they don't burn. Fire won't hit its own type too well either. Nor will it do much to water as water puts out fires. Fire also won't do much to dragon because dragons breathe fire. Fire will take double damage to water, rock, and ground as they all can put out fires. Fire is resistant to bug and grass because any attack from those two would certainly burn to a crisp. Ice and steel trying to attack will likely melt, so neither will do much damage either. Fire won't do much to fire. 
Fairy won't do much to fire either since fairies are magic and fire is an arcane element. Water is super effective to ground as it would disperse into mud. Water also does double damage to rock as streams can break down their sediments. Water is super effective against fire because water can put out fires. Water won't do much damage to its own type, nor grass, since grass absorbs water. Water, also being an arcane element, won't be very effective against dragons. Water will only take double damage from grass and electric as electricity travels through water. And grass is super effective against water because grass absorbs most of the water used against it. Water will only take half damage from water following the theme among the arcane types. And also resists fire because fire can be put out by the liquid. Water won't take too much damage from steel as a solid won't do much to a liquid. It also resists ice since ice is made from water. Ground is super effective against poison because bearing a disease kills it. Ground is also super effective against rock because ground is made of rock and rock-like particles. Ground is super effective against steel because an earthquake can break down a steel foundation. Ground also does well against fire because it can put out fires. Ground grounds electricity, so ground is super effective against electric. Ground doesn't hit bugs too well because bugs fly around in the air. Ground also doesn't hit grass too well since grass absorbs its nutrients. Ground is weak to water as water can turn it into mud. Grass will do absolutely no damage to flying since birds don't have to touch the ground. Ground is also weak to grass because plants are planted in the ground. And it is also weak to ice because ice can freeze over the ground. Ground resists poison because diseases can be buried. Ground is resistant to rock since ground is created of rocks and other such particles. Ground gains a complete immunity to electric since electric can be grounded. This is the end of part 1 of our Type Matchups videos. Next time we'll be going over the rock, steel, ice, flying, bug, and poison types. Right now, I'll go into a little bit of extra information. When a Pokemon of a certain type uses the same type move, that move will do extra damage than it usually would. This is known as the same type attack bonus, or Stab. Stab increases the damage of the move by 50%. Let's say Charizard, a Fire-type Pokémon, uses Flamethrower, a Fire-type move. Flamethrower usually has 90 power, but with Stab, it will actually have 135 power because Charizard is a Fire-type Pokémon. It is possible for a Pokémon to be two types. Blaziken is one example. He is both a Fire-type and a Fighting-type Pokémon. This means that both types will match up similarly. While he will still take double damage from Water because he is a Fire-type, he will also take double damage from Psychic because he is a Fighting-type. But this also means he will take even less damage from Bug, because both Fire-types and Fighting-types resist Bug. This also means that he will get Stab from both Fire-type and Fighting-type moves. And before we leave, I'd like to leave you with a quick Pokey fact. If there was a Pokemon that were all 18 types, it would only be weak to Rock-type moves. If the move Gravity was used, this hypothetical Pokemon would also gain weakness to Ground. It would also be weak to the move Freeze-Dry, even if the moves Electrify or Normalize are used. 